Where have we been since we've done this? Yep, we return once more. Skullgirl's second encore returns. And before I begin, I do want to say this. I know all the changes that these guys had done. Many of which not many people seem to favor. I'm not a fan of either of these. But you guys know that I have an obligation to see this through. And yes, a new character has dropped. And with season two coming, we're getting a lot more. Now it's time we do this with her of all people, Marie. There you are. Patricia, don't tell me you're watching cartoons again. Ugh, just when I thought I was safe. If you're gonna nag, save it for the commercials. I will not. Everyone wants to play baseball and we don't have enough people without you. Not my problem. Mr. Hilgard says, I don't care what Mr. Hilgard says. He can't tell me what to do. He's not my dad. My dad's dead. So is yours. So is everyone's. The Skull Girl's got them all and she'll get us too. But the Skull Girl is gone. Are you stupid? There's just gonna be another Skull Girl. And another after that. If I'm gonna die, I'd rather watch cartoons. It's more fun than playing house with you nerds. I've had enough. No more TV for you until you go outside. Hey! Turn it back on! Why do you care anyway? Because I'm a maid, and taking care of everyone is my job. You're not even a real maid! Mind your own business! And two, stop being lazy and act your age. At your age, you goody two-shoes! Stop! You're gonna break the TV! No, you're gonna break it! Ain't that swell. Know your place. Are you Sagany? Not bad, Marie. Just like old times, huh? You're as stubborn as ever. Stop this pointless fighting, Patricia. I can't control this power forever. Leave now while you still can. Oh, so now you want me to leave you alone. That chance. I've nearly eliminated the Medici family. Why must we fight when I'm so close to making my wish come true? Because your wish sucks! Who asked for all these zombies and dead monsters? I want my friend back! You can't save me, just as I could not save you. The only penance left for my cowardice is to kill the ones responsible for our suffering. I will see this through to the end. You can't reason with her, Peacock. Ah, put a sock in it. We're having a moment. A cool moment. Are you sure you know what you're doing? We know there's no chance of that. Just stick to the script. We only need one good shot. I still can't believe we agreed to what is surely the most foolhardy, preposterous, and perilous plan I have ever heard. I don't know. I can think of one plan that was crazier. That was to save the world from Queen Lamia not to rescue one girl. If this goes wrong, we all die. Oh, come on, that's all? Two of you are already dead, so what's there to lose? Besides, if there's even a chance we can save Marie, I'm doing whatever it takes. I'm not fond of this plan either, but I want to believe it's possible that we can save a Skull Girl. And if we can save Marie, then maybe there's hope for Carol. Okay, let's do this. If you refuse to listen, I have no choice. Behold how insignificant you are before the power of a Skull Girl. It's a three-on-one fight. Not gonna be pretty. And yes, I'm playing this on my screen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! So yes, we're now playing as the boss. Weird, I know. I find this unexpected. And does she have a move list? No, she has none. I am surprised that she has no move list whatsoever. But we have to do what is necessary. Sorry, but yeah, the fact that we're playing as the final boss is a nice twist. Take 
Yeah, I find this to be an absolute first. This is necessary. I never thought these guys would do it. Sorry, but this has to be done. Know your place. Get a new line! Stop this. I don't want to hurt you, Patricia. If I can't stop the Medicis, our suffering, our loss, all of it will amount to nothing. I cannot let that happen. The guilty must be punished. But it won't end there. After the Medici, what next? Will you let yourself become the cause of someone else's tragedy? I will not waver. I gave up my heart so such pleas would not distract me. You sure? Because you seem distracted. Look, you missed a spot. As if I would fall for such a... Got you! What? Squiggly! Squiggly! Now! Leviathan! Let's get... To the heart of the matter! Is this it? All that our anger, our suffering, was worth... Get it! You don't get to give up! Not after everything we've been through! Not after you never left me alone! Avery! On it, boss! One one way ticket through space time for the skull heart coming up! Ah! It hurts! What are you doing? I'm trying to save your life! Or death! Whatever! Philia, keep her down! Patricia! Stop! Nothing can reverse a wish from the skull heart! Is this what you wish for? Revenge? Death? Ten million stupid skeletons? This wish is all I have left. What about you? You're still here. We can save you if you stop being such an idiot. Boss, the skull art's too strong. It's gonna tear Miss Marie in half at this rate. Come on, Marie. What do you really want? Revenge? Or watching cartoons with your best friend? I... I... I don't want this anymore! Patricia, help me! What's happened to the Skull Heart? I've never seen nothing like this! The Skull Heart is resisting the dimensional gate with such fervor that it's tearing itself apart. Leviathan, you've got new space type powers too, don't you? Give the gal a hand! W what? That is the definition of reckless! I want no part in it! Hurry! We can't hold her much longer! Do it, Leviathan! It's all or nothing! Alright, brace yourselves! We've almost got it! The Skull Heart is no more. Stay away! Heavens, little girl. I can make sure this stew never threatens you again. But the poor headmaid will be rather sensitive about it. Huh? Where? Who? I am happy to answer both your questions with the same answer. This is Hilgard Castle, and I am Mr. Hilgard. The man with the car? You do remember me then. Or my car, at any rate. That is good. I am sorry there was no time for introductions when we first met, but they can wait until after you have your stew. It may be cold by now, but I promise it is not dangerous. Th thank you. Ah, healthy appetite. You must be feeling better. Not surprising as you've been asleep for three days. You gave me quite the start when you woke so suddenly. Three days? You should eat before asking more questions. Or if you insist, you may ask questions before you eat as long as you don't do both at the same time. You were injured and in shock, I should think, but fret not. Maybe you should sleep these past few nights and be awake to the nightmare of the Skull Girl. I remember. The sky turned dark, and then she... she... 
Don't worry. We are a long, long way from Rummelgrad. Here in the mountains of Duras, where no invaders have ever reached. Not even the Skullgirl can find us. I remember now. We met while you were looking for your grandson, right? That I was, as you were looking for your parents. We decided to look together. I thought I could help. It was very, very kind of you. Everyone was running and screaming and I tripped and fell. Then something horrible. It came out of the ground and I don't remember anything after that. You were hurt quite badly. The city was all but lost and there was no place left in the capital that could care for you. So I made the decision to take you as far away from that place as I could. I hope you can forgive the recklessness of my driving, though you slept through it all. What about your grandson? I do not know. All I know is that you, a child and right in front of my eyes, needed help. Oh no! You shouldn't have! I had to. I couldn't well leave you there. I may have been a fool rushing madly into danger, but at least I found you. Let's speak no more of it. For my grandson I can only hope. For you, there is stew and rest. My mother and father, did you see them? I think you should finish your stew first, and then we can talk about what to do next. It may be that neither of us can return to Rommelgrad for some time. For now, hope is all we have. Ah, but first, I must know your name. Can you introduce yourself? Mr. Hilgard? Oh, a dream. Can Skullgirls dream? Or am I finally dead? You're heavy is what you are! Get off! Patricia, what are you doing there? You fell on me, doofus! But at least you're Marie now, right? You ain't gonna throw a bunch of skeletons around and talk about how weak I am. I didn't say it that much, but I feel strange. I feel better. We did it! Swiggly better be alive so I can rub it in her face. Oh, I'm so sorry for doubting you, genius, Peacock. I'm just a dumb zombie. I love nagging and eating brains. How did you even do whatever it was you did? We bent the ginormous cosmic timeo sphere to try and fling the skull heart out of this universe, but it hit that so much it turned into a bunch of crystals and exploded. The what? Dr. Avian calls it the space-time continuum, but that's super boring, so I came up with a way better name. Cool, right? I guess, but what is this feeling? Like a tiny castle inside candle inside my chest. A fragment of the skull heart? It's very warm, but also very cold. Is this shard what's keeping me alive? Probably. The important fact is you're alive. Well, not technically, but you know what I mean. We can let the Lab 8 nerds figure out the rest. I suppose it is just one more mystery, like what happened to you. You have metal teeth, metal arms, and no eyes. Oh, there's so much I want to ask you, Patricia, and so much I need to tell you. But we have to get out of here first. This is Gehana, Double's Domain, and there are worse things in this place than even her. Me, for instance, if I do flatter myself. Valentine! Marie, aren't you her boss? Tell her she's fired! She has no reason to obey me anymore, and every reason to want revenge. Fine. Plan B. Avery, get us out of here! Uh, Avery? Hello? Don't be cute, just get us out of here! Damn it! Did he get lost when the skull heart went kaboom? Now what do we have here? A skull girl without the skull heart? It should be impossible, yet here you are. I'll happily put aside revenge to give this medical curiosity a thorough dissection. Purely in the interest of science, of course. With brain drains help, I presume? Say what you will about his methods, the man gets results. I knew you'd return to your true master eventually. I'm only surprised you haven't become tired of serving one after another. It's just more efficient to work with those who share my goals. Even ours aligned. You understand as well as I do that authority and morality just get in the way of doing what needs to be done. I did horrible things. Things that can't be forgiven. The price for stopping the Medici was much too great. Please don't let your resolve weaken now, Marie. That's the one thing I respected about you. That's why taking you down isn't revenge for last hope. It's simple efficiency. I don't need excuses and neither do you. We have a simple disagreement over methodology, and there's only one way to resolve it. Fine. As you wish, Valentine. I will make this as simple as possible. Valentine wants to fight us, huh? Fine by me. 
It's one on one. Are you ready to take your revenge? Everybody, mind your marks. Action! Let's go! Yeah, this is Marie, but this is actually her gameplay style. Yep, she has her style. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's a maid, but for whatever reason, she's still alive. No, the jab won't work. Okay, so what are her spe wait, so what are her specials? She still has a regular move. Oh yeah, it's a um, level her level three's in the air. She has a spirit bomb? You can't be serious. That's absurd. One fragment of the skull heart still has this much power? Impossible. How can you still control your undead minions at all, let alone this many of them? For how weak you were as a skull girl, you really are a tenacious little brat. But I didn't call for them. Interesting, but I suppose this is a mystery I won't get the chance to solve. You should know exactly what you do what to do. The most efficient method of making sure I don't ruin your plans again. I'm tired of efficiency. I don't want your pity. Save it for someone who deserves it. Double told me to kill you. I did not want to follow her orders. And I don't want to follow yours either. That is my resolve. I don't want to be like either of you. If you let me live, I will kill you. I know how dangerous you still are. Go ahead. Once you pay the rest of your debts, I'll gladly let you settle this one. Huh. It's a deal then. Hey, I hate to interrupt, but if you hurt Marie, I'll totally kill you. You also attack Lab 8, so you know I might have to give you the what for here and now. I attacked under orders from Double and the Skull Girl. Shouldn't she bear some responsibility too? That's, well, but, eh, just shut up. Oh dear, it's almost like a perpetual cycle of violence and re revenge doesn't really get you anywhere other than a lot of dead bodies. There's a lesson there for you children, but not for me. Are you okay, Marie? Yes. Thank you, Patricia. You're lying. You always do this. You pushed yourself way too hard. I know. I'm sorry, but it really isn't as bad as it looks. Ah, oh, jeez. If you're agreeing and apologizing, it must be worse than I thought. I'm not that contrarian. Oh, good. That's better. I mean, oh, goodness. I can't win. Oh dear, Marie. Come now, there's nothing for you to still be crying over, is there? But there is. I broke the television and we'll never be able to get another. At least the TV is all that was broken. From the way you two were fighting, I feared a bone or two might have become a casualty. But we were so bad. I was trying to help, but I just made a mess and Patricia hates me more than ever. Well, it certainly was a mess and I'm certainly not happy about it. But I'm more worried about you two than I am about the mansion's furniture. Really? Why ever would you think a television is worth such a fuss? You're letting us stay here. You're taking care of us. And you don't ask for anything in return. We're not your children. We're not even related. If we make too much trouble, you won't want to keep us anymore. But Patricia always makes trouble. She won't study. She won't make friends. She won't behave. She makes me so mad sometimes, but I don't want her to have to leave. You won't throw her out, will you? Marie, listen to me. I will never abandon you nor any of the other children, no matter how many televisions you break or how much mud you track into the castle. We have so little in these times but each other. I've lost one family already. I will keep the one we've made here as close as I can. Even Patricia? Of course. Ones like her, who are so troubled and hurt, need patience the most. Patricia might even have a thing or two to teach you about having fun and forgetting your troubles. You can be rather too serious at times, Marie. Right now, Patricia needs your friendship more than a scolding. A friendship I think you need as well. But I've already ruined everything. I should have just left her alone. I have a feeling that no matter how grumpy she behaves, deep down she's glad there's someone who cares about her enough to keep bothering her. 
So if you like to keep trying, I have an idea. Hello? Earth to Marie! You okay? Hmm? Oh, I'm fine. I really am. But with the skull heart gone, memories I didn't even realize were missing are rushing back. Phew! I was kind of worried you were going to turn evil again or something, but you're still your old self. It's like nothing happened. I know what still you under all that. Patricia, the skull heart didn't really make me do anything. It took away all of my feelings except for those of revenge. But that desire for revenge, it was all mine. I thought I was strong enough to control it, but everything I did only took me further down the path Double had planned for me. Wasn't all bad though, right? Someone needs to get bad guy butt. That's why I saved you after all. You did? For what? You said yourself you were pretty good at controlling the skull heart. You even managed to kill almost all the Medici with it. So it's simple. You just need to finish what you started. If there's no saving us, we should go save other people. More than the Medici. You can go further than that. This whole world needs saving. No! I hate the Medici so much, even still, but I can't keep using this power. It almost killed you. Something even worse might happen if you don't do anything. Hey, what's that? Ah! Ah! Patricia! Oh my, I'm quite clumsy. I missed my target by a millimeter and hit some old trash instead. Marie! It's dark! No, 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 this can't be happening, not now! Of course it's happening. It's the natural fate of those who challenge the Medici. I've been waiting for a chance to take another crack at you, Skullgirl, so don't just sit around crying. You have to finish it, Marie. No, Patricia, I can't. Please make your wish come true. My wish? Get revenge for all of us. That's wrong, Patricia. That wasn't my wish. Not going to resist then, are you? I'll make it quick. You outlived your usefulness many times over. Silence. This charade is disgusting even by your standards. Do you think Patricia is so easy to imitate that you could fool me with this mockery? Oh dear. It seems she's still too clever by half. Ugh. Playing multiple roles at once is taxing work, even in Gehana. I thought the face of the Medici you so despise would remind you of your purpose. Tell me what you've done with Patricia! It was double! Time to put- Oh wait, we're facing Black Dahlia? Make it flashy, guys! Action! Let's go! Yep. Fish. Yeah, M Marie is voiced by Kira Buckley. It's always good to hear from her again. Yeah, get fisted on. That's what you deserve. Please, this is my fight. You don't need to protect me anymore, minions. Your will burns so cold and bright even still. The fact that one shard holds this much power over the dead is a testament to the might of our masters. All the more reason it must be returned to them. Though you have ruined so much, the open arms of the goddesses will embrace you even now. I will never obey you again, Double. My most obstinate and willful Skullgirl. If only that very will was not what we needed so badly. Time and again your will has buckled only to come back stronger, more beautiful, shining like a polished pearl. But now, my precious Skullgirl, the time has come for you to offer it to the goddesses you serve. I am not your Skullgirl, and I won't be deceived by your twisted wishes ever again! Precious child, did you not share our wish? The goddesses understand how much this terrible and unfair world has made you suffer. 
you still have a chance. With that precious shard of the skull heart, you can make the wish that will save this world. At every turn you manipulated me and countless others. No wish that comes from this monstrosity could ever help anyone. Poor thing. Have you not yet realized that death is the only cure for this world's corruption and evil? When did you lose that merciless conviction? Was the incident with Labe too much for you? I knew you could not be convinced to act in your own self-interest. You needed a nudge. You lied to me! Tricked me into killing innocent people! They were children kidnapped by slavers modified into killing machines, including your precious friend. Did I lie? They were afraid and hurt. I destroyed their family and their home. I did exactly what the slavers did to us. You could have swept them into the loving embrace of death where there is no pain or brokenness. Instead, I was forced to finish the job, and you avoided neither the outcome nor the responsibility. Your hesitation to remove these obstacles is what led to your ultimate defeat. Obstacles to your plans, not mine. After my revenge was complete, why, what would it matter what happened to me? You. Perhaps you are more shrewd than I gave you credit for. Were you actually hoping Lab 8 would exterminate you after you were done with the Medici? Once I got my wish, why would I care if there was still a Skull Girl remaining to do your dirty work? What clever double dealing. Pity you never got your wish, and without us you never will. You need us far more than we need you. Patricia saved me. What can you offer me that's better than hope? Hope. A castle of sand against the rising waves. It will never last, no matter how much you cling to it. What can a poor lost child like you do without the guidance of the goddesses? There you are, Marie. I've been looking for you for ages. Some goon who looked like you was messing with me and... Hey, you okay? Awake. Can I come in? No! Leave me alone! You're just here to lord it over me! Perfect little Marie never gets in trouble! That's not true. I got in trouble too. But Mr. Hilgard said if we make up, he'll unground both of us. Fat! Who cares? It's not like I can watch TV anyway. The only fun thing left to do is stare at this wall, and I'd rather do it alone. Well, I guess I'll just keep this Annie of the Stars official coloring book to myself then. You probably wouldn't want it. Are you fibbing with me? I don't know. Why don't you fib around and find out? Fine. But I'm going to kick your butt if you're lying. I don't care what Mr. Hilgard does. Wait. Is this the limited edition one? Limited edition? Is that special? Yeah, it's special. I never thought I'd see one of these again. Give me! Only if we share it. Uh, seriously? Why? If we can finish this coloring book together without a fight, Mr. Hilgard will unground us. That's the deal. You could just share it with one of your real friends. Everyone likes you. But you love Annie more than anyone. Doesn't that make you the best person to have this? Ha! You, you'll probably just color inside the lines like a nerd. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Who cares? It's a coloring book. Do whatever you want. Chaos reigns. But you're supposed to color inside the lines. That's the whole point. Didn't Mr. Hilgard say we had to get along? Come on, it'll be fun. Let's color the grass red and the sky purple. Okay, but just this once. Are you sure this is the right way? It feels like we've been running in circles for hours. We're almost there. I can feel a breeze from the surface. Here, come on, Patricia. What's going on? Where the heck are we? Did we take a wrong turn in Sombrilla Gek Gek? Feels familiar somehow. I think this must be what's left of the village of Jake Jakugsberg. What? How the heck can we be back near the old orphanage? And how can you tell? It's just a bunch of smoldering wreckage, like everything else out here. Because this is where Double and I hid before we came into Meridian. Why? Wait, that gross place stretches into other countries? Just how big is that freaky place? 
Gehana is enormous. It doesn't just connect this place to New Meridian. It extends all over the Kenalpi Kingdom, the continent, maybe even the world. Still, we should keep moving. Double wouldn't give up so easily. Dang it! If I still had Avery, we'd be back to New Meridian in a couple of hours, tops! Avery? Yeah, he's my best friend, besides you. He helped me operate the synthetic parasite in my back. I see. Wait, why can't you operate without your paras- Why can't you operate your parasite without him? Is it broken? I mean, technically I can, but do you have any idea how much math you need to do to warp the fabric of the ginormous cosmic Neosphere without killing yourself and everything around you? I made Avery so I'd never have to think about the math again. Why do math yourself when you can imagine someone else who's really good at math and do it for you? Besides, Avery loves math. He also loves knives, because they're basically the same thing. Can't you still do the math since you made him? Wait, how is math like knives? You sound like the doc. Patricia, why did you make Avery love knives so much? It is very dangerous. But it, but I tells him, listen, you're always going on about how much math you need to bend the fabric of reality. Well, then it's fabric, just cut it with a knife. Man, I can't wait to introduce you to the rest of the lab, AK. You're gonna hit it off, I know it. Yes, apologies for that. Sure, they were all designed to kill you, but once they get over that, we're all gonna be best buds. I'm not so sure I should come back with you. What are you talking about? If anyone gives you sass, I'll stuff them in a sack. And then I'll stuff that sack in the river. And then I'll stuff that river in the sun. And I'll stuff that sun. Ow! Are you okay? What's wrong? Arms are on the fritz. I just need some maintenance. And a sandwich. What do you need a sandwich for? Is it necessary for your repair? It's necessary to eat. What else am I going to do with a sandwich? Right. You need food. I forgot. It's been a long time since I had a thing about eating. Not to state the obvious, but being the girl, skull girl sounds like it sucks. Having to eat can be a pain, but you get to eat. At least we only have to find one sandwich. Hey, what's that off in the distance? Looks like a bunch of cars. No, motorcycles? People? In no man's land? This can't be good. Hey, don't be such a downer. Maybe they'll give us a lift. What if they're bad guys? Then we'll save the day by heroically beating them up and then we'll take their motorcycles. Patricia, that might be an okay idea, actually. Of course it is. I might not have my, might not have my gadgets, but I still got my jeans. They look like cannot be kingdom soldiers. Stand back, Patricia. I can't let you get hurt. Hey, stop trying to be a hero. Ow, damn it. This isn't the kind of Argus Agony you had in mind. Egrets, hold your fire. Let me talk to them alone. Who's this broad? Wait, you look familiar. You weren't a guest on any of, of the any of the Star's Winter Special, were you? What? I was in disguise. No one could have... Ahem, excuse me. Now is not the time. I am the Crown Princess of the Kenopi Kingdom. Parasol Renoir. Surrender, Skullgirl. If you do, we can end this peacefully. No one has to get hurt. Wait, listen! Marie's good now. I blew up the skull heart and fixed her. She doesn't have an evil bone left in her body, except a tiny crystalline one keeping her alive, but she's got that under control. It's because she has acted with such unusual restraint for a skull girl that I even consider the risk I'm taking now. Please, Marie, give yourself up. We can protect your friend and help her live a normal life, but in exchange, you'll have to let us study you before, before you destroy me. Others have tried to resist the skull heart, but no one has succeeded. Even very strong, very kind people. Not even the best intentions can last forever. Ha! Shows you what you know! Marie's so stubborn, her good intentions can last forever! I'm sorry, Princess. I do think your actions are correct. I know I don't deserve another chance. Even so, I can't say no to my friend. She's the most important person to me. I see. I wish I could believe you, but I've seen the strongest person I know taken by the skull heart. And I must protect my kingdom. No matter what. Now we face Parasol. This is all Marie's fights. We have unfinished business with you. And it's in the desert. Time to put on a show. Showtime. Let's go. Hey, yeah, get off me. Yes, I remember how they changed the egress. I am not a fan of these changes. Ah, 
Not a fan of the changes that they did. Get wrecked. We failed! Egret retreat! Skullgirl, your struggles will only end in further tragedy for you and those you love. I will stop you. I only hope it's before that happens. I survived. Again. Why do you still fight for me, minions? I told you, this isn't your battle. Marie? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. You seriously expected me to believe that? You look halfway dead. In that case, I must look halfway better than normal. That was a joke. Because I'm dead? Oh, but I'm undead, so I was already half dead. Maybe it doesn't make any sense. No, I got it. It was funny. It was so funny, I mean this seriously, that I forgot to laugh. Are you sure you're okay? Seeing as you're doing crazy things like making jokes? I really am fine, I promise, but did I really do the right thing? Yes! Stop asking if it was the right thing. The thing that keeps you around is good enough for me. Come on, let's get moving. Where to? Well, where else is there? There's nothing left in this burnout village, and the only only other place for miles around is the old orphanage. I'm not sure we should go there. There might be food in the pantry somewhere, and hopefully there's still at least part of a roof left. What, are you afraid of ghosts? You're the skull girl, remember? I'm not scared of ghosts, but I am scared. What's all that noise? Who could be causing such a ruckus at this hour? I hope Patricia's not raiding the kitchen again. But if she is, maybe just one cookie wouldn't hurt. Wait, was that a scream? What's happening? Marie, there you are. We have to go, now. Look, there's two more. We're going to be rich. That tip we got was right on the money. Help, Mr. Hillgard. We've already taken care of the maids and the old man. So be a good girl and come over here. Fat chance! Ow! Damn it! I'll make you pay when I get my hands on you! Don't you dare lay a hand on her! Mr. Hillguard, you're hurt! Never mind that. Leave now. Look for help in the village. But Mr. Hillguard! Now! How? How could this happen? We were set up. Someone in the village tipped them off. We have to go back. The others... Mr. Hillgard, we can't help him if we get caught too. Now keep running. You're the one who made me exercise. Now move those legs. I can't keep up. Please, Patricia, just go on. I think I saw something over here. Damn it, these knuckleheads. I'll leave them the other way. That should buy you some time. You just have to make it to the village. What about you? They won't catch me that easy. I know the woods way better than they do. Now go! Hey, Bozos! Bet you can't catch me! Hey, that's the one that got Johnny! Get her! Patricia! Owie! Come on, quit it! I'm fine, it's just a skin knee! We can't risk it getting infected, now hold still. You always make such a big deal out of everything. And you never take anything seriously until it's too late. You worry too much. You don't worry enough. Know it all, slacker. I know you are, but... <laughs> Being back here with you, it's almost as if nothing changed. Hey, are you okay? You've been acting weird since we started climbing the mountain. I'm fine. Yeah, keep saying that. I believe it more and more each time. That was sarcasm, by the way. One of my most powerful new abilities. I'm pretty sure that's an ability you've always had, Patricia. Still, I'm fine. You're the one we need to worry about. Tomorrow we can figure out how to get you back to New Meridian before I... Before you what? I knew it. Something is wrong with you. I'm fine. I'm... I'm really happy you came for me, Patricia. Really, I mean it. Even just a, a little bit more time with you is enough. This happiness is more than I deserve. 
But I can't stay like this. This shard of the Scar Skullheart is too dangerous. It's only a matter of time before Double attacks us again. It's obvious what I have to do. Of course it is. You got a journey all over the world with your best butt, of course, to find a way to bring you all the way back to life. Foiling Double's plans and having adventures along the way. Right? Patricia, I'm sorry, but no one should have this power. Especially not me. Once you're safe, I'm gonna make sure this shard of the skull heart is destroyed. Are you crazy? You know what'll happen to you then, right? I made up my mind, Patricia. I tried to fight the skull heart and the Medici on my own terms. But didn't I only make things worse? No! Oh, so I made things better when I helped destroy your new home, your new family, and put the whole world in danger for my selfish wish. Okay, you've made some mistakes, but do you ever think of how it could have been a lot worse? You could have rampaged like any other skull girl, but you tried to be all sneaky. You only attacked the Medici, and you even caught a falling tower to save lives. Yeah, Swigley told me about that last one. No other skull girl would have done that. You didn't let yourself lose control. But what if I do lose control? I'm still a skull girl, Patricia. Even now, I feel the skull heart calling me. It would be so simple to give in to it. I wouldn't have to deal with all this guilt, all this pain. I could just go back to finishing off the last in the Medici. I shouldn't be thinking like that, but I can't stop. Then fight it. You shouldn't let Double or the Skull Heart or any other idiot tell you what to do. Even you? Not even me. Wait, I mean, yeah! I'm not telling you what to do. I'm saying you should be yourself. Be the stubborn, annoying, know-it-all wannabe maid that wouldn't leave me alone. You didn't give up on me back then. I'm not giving up on you now, so don't give up on yourself, Marie. Please, Patricia, can't you honor this last wish of mine? I just want to get you somewhere safe, where you can be happy, and then... No, I hate this! It sucks! Giving up isn't like you at all! That's why you're such a pain in the ass! And that's why you're my best friend! Enough, Patricia! I've made up my mind! Besides, what are you going to do to stop me in your condition? I'll fight you! What? No, Patricia, you're still hurt! I don't care! I'm not giving up on you, even if it means I have to fight you! Again! So if you want me to do things your way, to go back to New Meridian and be safe, you're gonna have to drag me there kicking and screaming! Two best friends are now forced to fight. Everybody warmed up? It's come to this, and I'm not gonna like how depressing this gets. Yeah, I love this theme. This is the new stage they added for Skull Girl. Sorry, but this has to be done. Forgive us, Peacock, but Marie made her choice. There! Stop being so stubborn and listen! <laughs> okay, fine. You got me good. I know when I'm licked. You gave me so much trouble. That was dangerous. At least I'm already dead, but you? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Oh, man. What's so funny? You could have gotten hurt. You're so stubborn you forgot to lose. What? You could have thrown the fight. If one of my beams hit that piece of the skull heart, it could have been blown to smithereens. But no, Marie has to be right about everything every time. That... I... You... I... Back at the orphanage, I was sure I knew what was best for everyone, but it never turned out right. As the Skull Girl, I thought I could fix everything, but I only brought more death. Worst of all, you keep getting hurt because of me. Hey, what are friends for? And sure, I've saved you a couple times now. I am awesome after all. But it took a lot more work for you to save me at first, so I'd say we're even. Whenever did I save you? Back at the orphanage, when all I wanted to do was watch TV. You mean when all I ever did was bother and nag you? You hated that! I really hated it. Your nagging is the worst. But I have to admit, you were right. I needed friends. I needed to play outside and share coloring books. 
I needed to live. If you hadn't made me, I don't know if I would have made it. But in the end, we still lost everything. You were always afraid everything would all fall apart, and you were right. It did. In the worst possible way. Hey, after everything that's happened, we still got each other. Sure, we're both missing some pieces, but we got a ton of cool friends. Like Avery, the fellas, everyone from Lab 8, and even all the dead guys you hang out with. I don't understand how the minions keep coming back, or why. I wish they would stop. They deserve to rest. Look, I can't tell you what their deal is, but they sure seem attached for some reason. Maybe they're hanging around for fun, but maybe they see what I see. Someone who will try too hard, probably make a mess, but will still manage to keep them safe while saving herself. So I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep kicking ass and fighting for my friends until I'm all out of ass and all out of friends. What are you going to do? I... Okay, Patricia. I'll trust you. Even if it's selfish or ends badly. As long as you believe in me, I'll keep trying. Just a little bit more. Please, let there be someone in the village who can help. Just past these trees. Huh? Huh? No! 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 Is there anyone out there? Anyone at all? Please! We need help! Please! Somebody? Hello? What do you need, child? Thank goodness. Please, sister. We need help. Raiders attacked Mount Hilgard's orphanage. They're trying to kidnap the children, and some people are badly hurt. Please, if there's anything you can do, we need help. I am sorry. There is nothing I can do. What? That can't be. Everyone's counting on me to get help. There must be a way. I cannot help you. But that doesn't mean there is no hope. There may still be a way to help your friends. How? I'm clumsy. I'm slow. There's nothing I can do except beg for help. Tell me, child. If you had power, what would you do with it? Power? I don't understand. The raiders are stronger than you, so they are able to take what they desire. That is the awful way of this corrupt world. If you had the strength, what would you do? I'd save my friends. I'd protect them with all my might. I'd make a world where we could live together and be happy. And I'd make sure that no one could ever take that from us again. You needn't run anymore, child. The Trinity has heard your pleas. Through them, you can have the chance to make everything right again. Exactly how you imagined. All you need to do... Is wish for it. Don't listen to her! That's an imposter! Patricia? Me? Marie, that's double. She's trying to trick you into... Silence! How dare you try to impersonate Patricia twice! As if I couldn't tell from your stench. You might have been able to trick me in Gehana, but here you are unmistakable. Oh, Marie. I see you are just as stubborn as ever. And just as deluded. Double again? You almost tricked me that time. I mean, I knew she wasn't me all along. At least I was pretty sure she wasn't. I am here not to deceive, but to guide. With your shard, you could still make things right and shift the world back onto its proper course. What kind of hell is this gonna be, huh? It'll be worse than the ending of Blood Bat Disco 3. And that ending sucked. A hell that will suit her masters. A world no one would ever wish for. No one? Countless souls before you have witnessed this world's corruption and seen the truth. That salvation exists only through the divine intervention of our goddesses. I've had enough of this. With the power I have left, I'll at least rid the world of you. You may try, but what can you do with your tiny shard of the Skullheart's might? She can do plenty, because she's got me. Marie, I'm backing you up this time, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Patricia, I... Yes, let's do this, together. 
And what can you two broken tools do? It's not just us. Please, everyone. You're my minions no longer, so I don't have the right to ask this of you. But we have to stop her. You may have been allowed your legions before, but no longer. They will not heed your call. We'll see about that. Two against one. It's time we put double in her place. <laughs> Yep, two against one, but Patricia's in half health. Yep, this is not going to be an easy fight. No, you don't. Game set and match, you lose. Stubborn, insolent, and ignorant. Listen to your masters. It is by their power that you stand anew. You have no will of your own. You exist to execute divine will alone. Obey. No, you're wrong, Double. I can hear them. They've been calling for me, louder than the Skull Heart. They? We will not be puppets anymore. We will not. My head, what's happening? Marie, what are you doing to her? I have done nothing. In defending you and attacking me, Marie has finally drawn too deeply of her Skullgirl power. She is now being brought to heal. No, Marie, you gotta fight it. It is futile. Marie Corbell wished upon the Skull Heart. Her wish was impure. She can no longer resist fate. She is the Skullgirl. Screw that! You're the one who rigged this whole game. What's the point of something that grants wishes if it never actually grants your wishes? To teach you mortals a fundamental truth, your efforts will never grant you happiness or salvation. Your struggles beget nothing but suffering in a world ungoverned by the Trinity. Cease resisting. Restore your will to the Trinity, and they will cure the ills you have inflicted upon this world. No! I won't! Petulant child! Clinging to that which you have stolen, I should not be surprised. All born on this world are thieves, life stolen from their blood, societies built on their flesh and bone, and yet all sentient creatures have stolen something far more precious still. The will that drives you. Our will? Lady, we were born with it. We can do whatever we want. Watch! Nyeh nyeh! The purpose of the Skull Heart is to return your will to the goddesses so that they might choose a more proper deserving fate for you mortals. Everything I did, everything was all for them? Poor deluded creature. The goddesses answered your wish and allowed you the free will to choose revenge. All you did was according to your own will. Tell me, did it make you happy? Did it make the world better? You already know the answer, Marie. You could do nothing on your own. In time, you would have seen the truth all other Skull Girls before you have understood. Mortal will cannot make this world right. On that day, you would have broken and given yourself to them wholly, becoming a sacrifice of free will great enough for the Trinity to break the cracks of the abyss and be free once more. No! You took advantage of my weakness and desperation back then. But we don't need your corrupt power anymore. We will create the future we want with our own hands. That's right! I already smashed your stupid skull hard once and I'll do it again. I'll smash it so hard your bosses won't be able to mess with Marie's head ever again. Marie, you've got to fight them. 
Don't let them take over. Don't worry, Patricia. I won't give up. I'm not afraid anymore. You're with me. And so are they. I can hear them. The voices of the dead whose will was stolen. They're calling for me to free them. They can't rest yet. Together, we'll show the Trinity whose will is stronger. That's the ticket. All you gotta do is be as stubborn as you can possibly be. Fight the skull heart and kick them out. This has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Straight to the point. So willful for someone so young, but that's why we picked you. Deception is Double's game, and I'm very tired of it. Don't you have a face of your own? With that you call you could witness our full glory, but your tiny shard is all we have, so it's your face that we will wear. A series of coincidences like none in endless aeons were required for this moment to arrive. You truly cannot imagine how lucky you are. If not for that other child, this would have ended quite differently. I'm lucky to have her. You are. As for us, while this setback is unexpected, there's still time. We have nothing but time. Oh well. If you have so much time, it must be hardly worth the effort to crush a little dust money like me. Now this is amusing. We may have time, but we don't have patience. We have endured uncountable agonies of time, dreaming of nothing but freedom from the mortals who stole our flesh and our power. You were to be the final grain of sand to fall through the hourglass, yet you persist. I see. You must hate me very much. Eternally. Absolutely. With the whole of our being. So just a tiny bit more than the average human. Nothing personal. You can never understand our suffering, so trying to communicate it is just wasted effort. Forgive me if I, may t if I take what you did to me and Patricia a bit more personally than that. Your suffering was just a whim. Like the wishes we grant, we've chosen to make your life especially miserable, just because we can. Is this fun for you? Is that why you hurt us so? It serves a simple purpose, to demonstrate that your fate belongs to us, for us to do with as we please. And of course, it's amusing too. Don't get us wrong. I see. And I'm gonna fight you with everything I have, whether I survive or not. We thought as much. Humans tend to react this way. Then let's end this. Alone, you are nothing. You may be right, but I am not alone. Every minion once controlled by the Skullheart has a reason to fight you. The wishes you twisted and the lives you stole, all their hopes and dreams and regrets, they're still with me. They won't rest until the world is free from you. They are nothing. We are the only reality. We will snuff out their will and you will die alone. Then do your worst. One day or another, I will be the last Skull Girl. Final battle. Here we go. Marie against her. Everybody, mind your marks. Let's run. Let's go! Time to finish this! Guys, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I'm trying to get to level three. Time to put an end to this once and for all. And we end it in style. Defiance from you we expected. Defiance from the dead is impossible. This victory cannot be. Thank you, everyone. I wish you could hear how grateful I am to you. Oh dear, Marie, it's no trouble. Excuse me, I'm rather late, aren't I? Mr. Hilgard, 
What? How? I said rather late. Get it? On account of being, well, dead. But, but... Ah, the same, Marie. I did hope I could have come up with a punchline that would have made you laugh, but my sense of humor? Well, it's not quite the time for it in any case. Obey us, minion. Get rid of her. No, thank you. There might be nothing left of me but bones, but even those bones would stand against you if they had the chance. Which, thanks to Marie, they do. I'm so sorry, Mr. Hillgard. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to find help that day. And I'm sorry that I had to ask for your help even now. You, all the minions, must hate me for how weak I am. Hey, kid. It's not like you killed me. You didn't kill Joe, though. He's still kind of mad about it. Yeah, I'm mad, but I'm more mad at these broads. The Trinity stole our will and used our bodies like puppets. They're the ones we got a bone to pick with, especially Joe. That's right. You fought the Skullheart together with Patricia and severed the hole they had over our will and yours. So we like to fight together with you, as minions no longer. But it shouldn't be me. I don't deserve it. I'm not strong enough. You certainly are strong enough. But as for whatever you desire it, we the dead have no way to decide that. All we have are our lost will and regrets, and there is no one but you who can listen to them. Whether you're a good person or not doesn't really matter to us. We're begging you here. I can't exactly say I was a great guy, but I just want to rest. Even I deserve that. Then I love to give these goddesses a piece of my mind, or skull. I... No, I can't waver anymore. Without a strong will, we won't be able to clean up this mess. I'll do my best to serve you all as caretaker of the dead. So rebellion it is. You may have defeated us here, but you cannot imagine the power we possess. Be afraid, mortal. Our advent is closer than you imagine. No, it's you who should be afraid. I'm not alone anymore. All the Skull Girls who hoped for a better world, only to have their wishes twisted. Everyone who died at your hands, their futures cut short. Our lives, our hopes, and our will. Give it back! Give back what you took from us! No! Impossible! Your goddesses have no hold over me. Leave before I show you what my own power can do. Scrap, Double! Next time it's curtains! Did you really do it, Marie? Whoa! Patricia! Hey, you were only gone for a couple of minutes. Did you really miss me that much? I'm just so happy. My wish. It finally came true. My real wish. I had the strength to save my friends. I finally did it. Jeez, Marie. You're just a crybaby. Come on, if you keep crying then, I'm... I'm gonna... Ah! That's enough sappiness for one day. We got so much catching up to do, I'm not gonna waste it on crying. Let's get out of here is what I would say if I could still freaking teleport. We're still stuck here and I'm still starving. I didn't even get my sandwich. Maybe I left one in my hat somewhere. Nothing, not a, ooh, 20 bones. Wait, is that? Boss, there you are. Ah, jeez, we were all real worried. Avery, were you in my hat the whole time, you big goofus? Then why didn't you come out and save us? Calm down, boss. Someone was interfering with a ginormous cosmic time meal spear and we couldn't find you. Then suddenly it all cleared up. Crazy, huh? Oh, you must be Avery. Thank you for watching over, Patricia. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, ma'am. Did you bring the wagon? Oh, wait, let me fill around. Ooh, that feels like a bumper. Oops, that might be an elephant. There it is. Hey, Marie, you ever seen a peacock pull a car out of a hat? No. Well, now you have. Come on, get in. We're heading back in style. Man, that was crazy. We saved the world or something. Not bad for a day's work. We might have a long road ahead still. There's so much stuff out, so much I don't understand. And Double's still out there, plotting. 
Well, we save today at least. We can worry about saving tomorrow for tomorrow. <laughs> You're right. Right now I couldn't be happier. I'm not sure what's coming next, but whatever it is, let's face it together. That was something. Marie. Yeah, never thought Marie would be playable. But I won't lie. This is something that I didn't think I would do see. She's got a lot of potential. I'll give her that. But I'm going to need a little more time with her. Yeah, she just came out today. And I didn't get like a full analysis of what she does. But I will say this. She has access to the Spirit Bomb. That is something for a level 3. She also has a level 5. But I'm going to have to look into that. Overall, yeah, that's Marie. And with it, Season 1 of the Skullgirls DLC is done. We're expecting Season 2, so hopefully by then I'll get the other characters. That is it for Skullgirls Second Encore. If you enjoy it, please be sure the like button means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I'll see you then. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. I miss doing this game. Seriously. Hmm. I see. I see. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. So this is the true nature of Theonite. Of course. How could it be anything else? Excellent work securing the pieces. You've done quite well, Valentine. It wasn't easy. But if this thing is capable of half the things you say it is, I'll consider it a bargain. Have some faith. This is a momentous occasion for us. No, for mankind itself. Avion is dead, and Lab 8 is in ruins along with a good chunk of the city. Not to mention, Painwheel is missing. Is this really all according to plan, Doctor? Merely temporary setbacks. Avian has already finished his masterwork, and I've acquired all the data from Lab A I require. As for Painwheel, she will return in time. You sound confident. I'm not sure the future is really that predictable. A far more appropriate choice of words than you know, Valentine. Until this moment, the future itself has been the sole domain of beings far greater than we. For how many millennia have we danced to their tune, our fates orchestrated by their designs? All that ends now with this. For too long we have been content merely staying off the incursion of the Skull Girl and her masters. Soon our counterattack will begin, and humanity will seize control of our destiny. For even goddesses will tremble before the might of a Chrome Heart. <laughs>